Max this is Mettles, true. Robbie Musto, Mark Rogandino, and pleased to be joined by uh, one of the back line here. It's none other than Steve Bader show joining us here at the YouTube TV desk. First of all, I mean, you made your 201st career MLS start today. We were going to celebrate that in the pregame. We did not get to it. It was 200 last week. So you've been around this league for quite a while. Hey, hey, don't say that too much. Describe, <laughs> describe what it's like with this group, because you've been on a couple of different teams. Obviously, this is an expansion team, but certainly not playing like it. Yeah, we're uh, we're off to a good start for sure. Uh, it's tough when teams label you as an expansion team because it's the first time we're all together. Uh, but a lot of the guys have experience in the league, you know, with Benny, with Jordan, with Laurent. So uh, we bring that veteran presence, and then you have guys from all over the the world, you know, who are contributing. So we're off to a good start, and uh, you know, Bob just wants us to play football. So it's a beautiful game for a reason, and we're trying to do that. You know, one of the things that we always talk about up here at the desk is is the fact that this team has depth. And Max was just detailing it a moment ago before we hit the break and brought you up talking about that at first people said no this team doesn't have depth because they pulled players from all the other teams around the league but that is quite the contrary i mean you look at one guy go out k was out last week right and you had you had a different formation in the midfield now atuetza goes out you guys have and even across the back four you got a out. lot of players that can go in at different spots yeah yeah uh, i think maybe to start the season we didn't have as much depth but you look at us now and we're deep in every position you know diego has been great fantastic this entire year i think he's played every single game and to miss him and you couldn't even tell out there. So guys have stepped in and, and done, done their part and hopefully we uh, continue this little role we're on. I have a question. Oh, really? All right. Hopefully I have an answer. So maybe I'm gonna, <laughs> tell me if you, you sense this, because I think when teams come here, they are overwhelmed by this stadium playing here for the first time. Do you guys feed off that and like say, all right, enjoy your day here at LFC, but when you get on that field, we're gonna send you home with with some bad feelings, yeah, some bad I mean, intentions. Look, this is uh, it's a fortress. You know, the 3252, they're fantastic. We, 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 we talked about fortress. that, yeah? how important All right. it is for players <laughs> to kind of to get that. And that's yeah. how it's feeling, is it? Yeah, it, it really is. And even, uh, you know, when they get here a couple days ago and they get to the training field, and some of us are late to exit, and we see them looking at our training facility. You know, everything's state of the art. Uh, not just yeah. the bank, it's beautiful, uh, but our fans coming in waves and, and uh, making their voices heard. It's fantastic. And they go to our training facility and they're like, oh, my God, look at how beautiful this is. So we see that and uh, we, we love it. You know, he mentioned it. We stick around a little bit longer at practice. That's good for Bob to hear. Like, yeah, Steve, yeah, this is Bob, the hey, hanging around. Bob's the last one to leave. He, he works <laughs> out every day like on crazy. The, on the bike, so, yeah. yeah, yeah, he do knows. You, do you I mean, you're an experienced player now and you see the training ground, the surroundings and the players that's come together and the manager. Do you get a sense, and I, and I believe in this, that you think something special is happening? Yeah, Robbie, you, I mean, you mentioned it. It's something special. Uh, a, a lot of people put that tag on, that, you know, expansion team. But from the beginning, Bob's like, I don't want that label, you know. We're a team. We're trying to play football. It's a brand-new stadium. We got great owners, great fans. Yeah. Let's keep it going, you know. Let's Which let's. must make the players want to play every single week, want to be part of this team. It might make other players want to come to this football club. But just, yeah. you know, I've had a look around for a couple of weeks now, and the way the boys train, the facilities, the games, the stadium, the fans, it just feels like it's really on a really good track. It must be exciting for you to be at this club right now. Yeah, it's fantastic. You know, obviously this is my first time in my career that I've been part of an expansion team, but it doesn't feel like it, you know. Everything's been done and done right and everyone wants to win and everyone just supports each other you know and it's something that it's it's truly a blessing to be part of yeah. what, what's your favorite part of bank of california stadium every time you come here what's the one thing that you enjoy the most i mean honestly it's everything it doesn't it's look all like uh it doesn't look like a regular stadium yeah it's so beautiful and fancy um we did the tours before so we've seen you know what the fans see you know not just on the field it's gorgeous on the field let me tell you that but what the fancy it's it's not like any other stadium yeah. where it's just hey here's some seats here's a field and that's it no you know the different layers the lounges it's gorgeous and then when everyone comes together good and, answer and we got a good team <laughs> performing it's it's wonderful well one of the reasons you guys have been a good team is we talked about depth today you have, and you've had different players at different times so far through four months of the season show up and and take that spotlight and grab it today it's adama diamande again first ever hat trick in lafc history I mean, what's it like with a guy, take the curtain back for a moment and tell us, because remember, he only arrived, what was it, five weeks ago and yeah. started training with the team. He was a late arrival, but boy, has he made his presence felt. Yeah, obviously he's had past experience with Bob. So Bob knows, you know, what he's like and he knows what Bob wants. So that was a good start. And then to come in, I, I don't know exactly, but what does he have, like seven goals in like five or six games? I don't know. Yeah. It's exactly. Seven, 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 seven and five. Seven and five? Okay. He's tied he hit the, the most goals. <laughs> 
So <laughs> that's a fellow Aztec, everybody. <laughs> by the yes. way, oh boy, yeah. send you to say Aztecs right here. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. So he's come in, hasn't missed a beat, and you know it's tough because you say he's not match fit because he hasn't been playing. Uh, continuously, but you can tell out there he, he's he's fit the part, and we're happy to have him uh, doing what he's doing. I was just asking Robbie because you know Robbie's what 450 plus appearances with Middlesbrough, and I was saying, you know, how do you, <laughs> I was saying how do you defend how, how do you defend a guy like that? What would you do? I mean, when you match up with him at times in training, I mean the guy's physical strength is massive. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's uh, he's quick. He's got good feet. Uh, he's always in a good spot, which helps. And then his obviously his strength and size. Uh, you saw a couple times, you know, if we don't have options where we want to play, and that's what Bob wants us to do, sometimes we have to go direct and he's able to hold up and lay it off, which really helps relieve some of the pressure. So, uh, it look, it, yeah. He looks as well that he's a real good lad, as I said. Yeah. He's a real good pro. He works his socks off. What's he like? What's he like as a person? How is he settled in? And, 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 and how does his personality help the team? I, you know, I think you have to give credit to, to Bob and John Thorrington for bringing guys with good character, right. you know, him and everyone else yeah. you go from one through 30 guys are great off the field everyone yeah. gets along it's you know important. you don't have any sour apples in there and that's important yeah. you don't want anyone tearing apart the team because we have something so special you know uh we got beta time now on our soon to be renamed inside lafc show okay. it, check it out on youtube or on lafc.com are you enjoying doing the little tv stuff on the oh, side i love it you know i i heard the first one was a hit so yes it was. we'll keep it going i take all the credit yes but of course <laughs> it was a hit imagine that <laughs> uh steve i guess before we let you go the last thing that we were talking about right before you came on is the fact that uh, there was that little let off right at the end of the first half not not to take away some of the shine of this 4-1 win what was the mood like there in the locker room right there? Because you guys were up 2-0, and yeah. all of a sudden you let off focus for just a second. They pull one back. It's a different game going to the locker room 2-1 than it is 2-0. Yeah, that's the beautiful thing about this team. We have veterans. We have experienced guys who know that's a silly goal to give away. So you want to go into the half with momentum. You're up 2-0. It's so much better than being a one-goal game. Sure. Now they have momentum after we've dominated for 45 minutes so uh, fortunately you know with what Bob tells us with the veterans out there we know what we have to do when we come out in the second 45 and you know we gave it to them this is beta time live right here beta time beta yeah. time live Just we're gonna have to get an interstitial and a little caricature. I don't know. Right do the fans know why beta time? You know, I mean, no. Do tell us. Well, let, let since, them know. since college, uh, Stephen. People don't know my first name. It's crazy. When, oh, okay. when, what when is they your first say, name? <laughs> yeah. So you know, they say beta shirt takes too long. So since college, <laughs> people have known me as Beta. And Jordan Harvey actually, when we were in Vancouver together, started the Beta time. It was an uh, inside joke. And then next thing you know, everyone's calling beta time so fit, that's why we have a post game show this is the information we need yes. to unearth it should be so running beta. it should be running the show right now i know but it is running it. Hey, like all good things, they must come to an end at some point. So this edition of Beta Time is going to come to a close. We appreciate Steve Betashore stopping by a little bit here on the Black and Gold Post Game Show.